Hello, hey, Sandra Cohn here. Welcome back to the studio. Today I want to talk to you a little bit more about the Westcott 7 foot parabolic umbrella and specifically how I use it. So if you've seen any of my behind the scene photos, if you follow me on Instagram or anything like that, then you know that I love that Westcott 7 foot parabolic umbrella and I use the translucent umbrella. So the all white one that a lot of people look at and think, hey Sandra, that's supposed to be a shoot through umbrella. Umbrella. But I don't use it as a shoot through umbrella. I turn it around and use it as a parabolic, so a bounce umbrella, like I would with the same umbrella if it had a black backing. And a lot of people ask me questions about that, or <laughs> they try to be helpful and tell me that I'm using it wrong. Well, the way I use it is intentional, and so today I want to show you why I use it that way, why I don't turn it around and use it as a shoot through, and instead use it as a bounce. One thing I should mention is that my model today is gonna to be this kind of creepy doll that I use from time to time. So if you have a, like a doll phobia, totally don't watch this video. So what you're going to notice is when the light is in that bounce position, right? When the we're shooting it back this way and some of the light's bouncing out this way, well, of course, light's gonna spit off the back of the modifier and it's gonna bounce around the room that's going to help create that big soft light that gives us that natural light look. It's gonna result in light that is soft, it's a little bit directional, right? But you're, you're getting these really subtle shadows because again, that light's filling up all of those spaces. Now, when we turn it around and we're shooting it as a shoot through, you're still getting a level of diffusion on that light, right? Obviously but the light's more direct, it's more directional, and so you're gonna get more of a difference between your highlights and your shadows, and you are gonna get a more pronounced shadow. Now listen, both ways are beautiful, but they are, they are different, so I suggest you play around with this approach yourself and see what you like. Okay, listen, if that was helpful or at least interesting, <laughs> um, be sure to give us a like, leave us a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos that we're putting out. Um, yeah, so that's it. Have a great day.